Hello. I'd like to share with you some information about the transition to online learning that's going to happen. Where do I go to access information about my classes? Classes will not be held like they were during the normal school day. Some subject areas will be held on Mondays and Wednesdays, and the other subject areas will be held on Tuesdays and Thursdays. What classes are held on those days? On Mondays and Wednesdays, math, social studies, foreign language, fine arts, and computers will take place. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, English, science, theology, business education, and physical education. Where will information about my classes be located? Information for all classes will be located on the topics page. Teachers have been formed to put that information up there by 8 a.m. What happens if the material is not posted? Email the teacher first. If it is not up by 8.30 a.m., then you have not heard a response by then, please contact the school. Someone will be happy to address the situation. Do not call the school before 8.30. What happens if I am sick or have an appointment and I'm going to miss school on that day? Inform your parents that they need to log into MyCC. Have them mark you absent using the form in the resources tab on MyCC. Failure to do this will result in a non-excused absence and will result in contact from the school. What is this all going to look like once it gets started? So here's how things are going to look from the student perspective. So once you log into MyCC and you go to My Day, you'll see that usually you're generated into the schedule that's here. Now, today's Thursday, March 19th, so we don't have a schedule, but if I scroll over and go to Monday, you'll see that all the classes, like a normal class rotation, exist. This does not mean that you have to go to into every single class. Remember what we said. On Mondays and Wednesdays, you only need to go to math, social studies, foreign languages, fine arts, and computers. If you don't have those classes on those days, you don't have to worry about it. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you've got science, English, theology, business education, and physical education that you have to make sure that you go into those types of classes. So what you do is you can either click on that class or you can go into your classes up here to access those classes. It is completely your uh, per, whatever you want to do. So if I go to, let's say, um, today's Monday, I'm going to go to my math class, I'm going to go to geometry, and when I go in there, where the information is going to be located, it is going to be located under the Topics tab. So if you click Topics, all right, what's going to happen is on Monday, you will see a specific topic that's for Monday. Teachers are told that they need to have that posted by 8 o'clock in the morning. When you go into that specific topic, what will happen is you'll have an outline of what you're supposed to do for that class for that day uh, and when that teacher's office hours are going to be. So make sure that you log in and you do that. There will be a short assignment in that particular class that's going to be designed for uh, attendance purposes. So you will have a small assignment in every single class that you have to get to for that day that is for your attendance and you can see right here we also have some office hours that are available where you need to where Mr. Mack in this case for health uh, will be able to be contacted in case you have any questions about the material but one short assignment that you will need to do and you will need to submit that by 3 p.m. if you do not then you will be considered absent for that day so that's something that you have to be aware of and that you have to be concerned with Another important area that you want to go to is make sure that you go to the Resources tab. When you go to the Resources tab, you'll see that we have a, a lot of information that's for you. We've got a Student Wellness section. Uh, we're also going to be uploading a couple other things that are going to be located here. Uh, one is the Online Learning Resources. So we're going to provide you with a lot of different resources, instructional videos that you can watch to make sure that you understand what's going on and hopefully it answers a lot of the questions that you might have in regards to the online learning process that we're going to go through. If those questions aren't answered in there, we will also provide a Google form where you can ask some of that information and we'll make sure that we get that feedback to you. So hopefully this makes sense where everything's going to be located, where you need to go, where you need to navigate to. 
uh, in order to see the information that you need to see. Teachers will be allowed to assign you additional work other than just that short at assign attendance assignment for that day. So you might have an assignment that's due the next day that class meets or even um, the following week, just like you would in a normal class. But you do not have to go into that class every single day. You only need to go into those classes that are going to take place on that specific day. Feel free to email your teachers if you have any questions. They will be available or use Google Hangouts. Uh, thank you. Have a great day.